What if I told you that you could now play your favorite Nintendo Switch games on your Android phone without needing a high-end device? Sounds impossible, right? Well, it's not. Thanks to Kenji NX, the Ryu Jinx emulator is now running on Android, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. From Zelda, Breath of the Wild, to Mario Odyssey, and even some anime titles like Naruto and Dragon Ball, you can now experience real console-level gaming in the palm of your hand. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to install Kenji NX Emulator on Android with the best settings. Let's get started. Let's install the emulator. Fortunately, Kinji NX is an open source project with a GitHub repository, and you can download the APK for Android from there. Go grab it now. Once you've downloaded the APK file for the emulator, go ahead and install the app. Kinji NX is also available on PC, with support for real operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. You can check the video linked in the description. After installation, open the app. It will ask for your permission to manage files allow access. You will see an empty screen because we haven't added any game sources yet. If you already used any Ryujinx Android emulator, you can notice the interface is the same. But our main concern is whether it's optimized or just a copy. Click on the Ryujinx button at the top right corner. It seems like a profile, but there's no option to add or edit. Then go to settings. Yes, there are a few changes since I used Ryujinx Android six months ago. Under the interface, you can organize the game as a grid or list. Add a game folder here. Kenji NX supports both NSP and XCI formats. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. Now we need to import production keys. Without these keys, Ryujinx won't launch any games. To install the keys, tap on Import Prod Keys, navigate to your keys folder, and select the Prod Keys file. It will ask you if you want to continue simply click on yes. If you want to add firmware, tap firmware and select the firmware file from your file manager. Adding the latest firmware improves game compatibility, helps with performance and stability, and reduces graphical and AA bugs, but this step is optional. You can download app data and browse the folder Kenji NX has created in your phone storage. Input is actually the controller, but I did not find any option for customization. No need to change any option here, it's safe to use the default. Developers must add proper options here. Play a few games and adjust the controller stick sensitivity. If you enable docked mode, it will increase the resolution but might reduce performance. So keep it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough. In the system section, VSync set to switch is okay. You can set up to 12 gigabytes DRAM, that is huge, but I prefer to use six or eight gigabytes. Just enable performance mode. In the CPU section, I think everything is okay. You don't need to change any option. In the graphics section, Enable the Texture Recompression option for better performance, and you can set the resolution scale up to 4x, but I prefer 1x, which is 720p. Anisotropic filtering set to 2x. Another important feature is the custom GPU driver. By default, it selects your device's GPU, but you can install custom GPU drivers for better performance. Unfortunately, you can't install GPU drivers if your device doesn't have Snapdragon. Other options are not important, so leave them as default and return to the main screen. If your games aren't showing up on the main screen, just click the refresh button and they should appear immediately. Now let's address some concerns. To be honest, Kinji NX is not ready to compete with Citroen or even the new Eden emulator. Kenji NX is still under development for Android, and it lacks some essential features such as comprehensive graphics settings, orientation control, aspect ratio adjustments, and full control customization. Additionally, Kenji NX hasn't released an official compatibility list yet, so we don't have detailed information about which games will work flawlessly. It's worth keeping an eye on updates from the dev team as they continue to improve the emulator. That's it. See you in the next video. Take care.